All right, guys, welcome back to a new video today. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the Voyage of Despair flying car Easter egg. Now, there is an Easter egg already based on this, but this one actually makes you fly, as you can see in the gameplay, like on screen. Like, it's, bro, this is without a doubt literally the best Easter egg I think I've ever experienced like, on, on this game or like, or ever. It's literally so fun, it's so easy. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so what you want to do first is turn on the power. Okay, and now go to all four pac locations in the map and turn them on. Okay, so after you've done that, what you need to do now is the first step of the Easter egg. Now, I have no idea how to do this. I have never done this Easter egg on this map, and I never will, because, I, yeah, I, I'm not doing that. But regardless, there is going to be a link in the description on how to do this, like, specifically, like, point on point, done and done, like, like it's simple as that, really. So, I'm going to link Dame and that game, um, his tutorial in the description, so check it out, do all that stuff, and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, so now the next step, you actually want to do the normal flying car easter egg. Okay, so what you want to do first is go to the mail room, and there should be a safe. Now, it, with that safe, you actually need the shield to melee it to get the part off the safe. Okay, so now we need to find four locations of four bones and four numbers. Now, the numbers are going to recollate to safes. Now, there are four safe locations as well on the map. So, for example, if you find the number, write it down, go to the safe, and then when you go to the safe, you actually have to hold F, and then... When you hold F, the safe will open, and then the safe will, will tell you a number. That number is in the map when you find it, and then put the number in that safe, and then, once that's done, you actually need to get a part of that bone with the same location where the number was, and then put that in the safe. Okay, so what you gotta do now is find four locations of the numbers and bones, but I will put them all on the screen right now. So again, go out to the safe, hold F to interact, it will show you a code. Go and find the code where you find it originally, then that basically leads you to get the right bone for the safe. Put the bone in the safe, then it will close. Medi the safe with the shield, and by the way, the shield is actually kind of annoying to hit the fucking box, because the hitbox is kind of annoying again. Nice one, Charak. And then, once it's melee'd, um, the part will fall off, and then you go to the next safe. Here are all four safe locations. Okay, so now, once you've done all the saves, all four of them, now, if you go to the cargo hold, you will see the car. Now, the car, I think, launches after, like, 10 to 20 seconds as you activate it, and there you go. The flying car easter egg is now complete. Now, once you've done that, the car will be in the air for, like, 2 to 3 minutes, so you should have enough time to get there in time to activate the new easter egg. You will now need to go to the third class berths area to start the new easter egg. Now, what you want to do is crouch in this corner and hold interact whilst crouch. Then, you have to do exactly what I'm doing in my gameplay and walk forward slowly in this specific path. When you get to the balcony, you need to let go of the interact button, knife two times, stand up, and switch your weapon. Once you've done that, you will now be rewarded with the Kraken and Humunculuses. So after you get the rewards, you can actually go back and re-attempt to crouch in and do the same path, and now you should be able to go in the car. But obviously, the car got to be in the sky to do it. If it's not in the sky, it's fine. Go to the next round, or just keep on going until you can reactivate the car again in the cargo hold. I also do not know if you can get more than one person into the car. I, like, we got kicked out in our game, so I have no idea. But if you guys want to feel free to attempt it, go for it. But yeah, that is the Easter egg. So I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. So I'm actually really, really close to 2,000 subs. So if you guys want to leave a comment and a like and a, and a sub, I'd appreciate it. And I think there might be some more Easter eggs getting solved soon. I mean, you, you never know, man. Like, BF4 is just so many unsolved stuff. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for the support recently. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.